state lawmakers are seeking answers after our series of investigations revealed problems that make it easy for criminals to issue fake paper license plates. Investigators found phony car dealers infiltrating the Texas DMV to mass produce 2 million fraudulent paper license plates. Some of those were linked to murder and other crimes. Investigator Matt Grant reports from the Capitol on how state lawmakers are now tackling the tag problem. It has been a black eye for the state of Texas. The new head of the Texas Department of Motor Vehicles took a bruising Tuesday. And as painful as it may have been to see our agency in the media in receiving those black eyes, I will say that being in the media was part of the solution. It was the awareness that they provided. This as House Transportation Chair Terry Canales demanded to know why the agency was slow to respond to out of control temporary tag abuse. Thank God the media covered it because it was it was it's rampant. Even after a 2021 law was passed, giving the agency the tools to cut off fraudulent car dealers. So your response is eloquent, but it doesn't answer my question. Why did my, it take so long? Why did it take so long? I'm not here to shoot the messenger. But at some point, somebody's got to answer to, to this committee and to the, the legislature as to why it would take so long and why it has to why the media has to be the one that uncovers it so that the so that the agencies that we gave directive to can actually do something. Chairman Canales, it's a very valid question. Acting Executive Director Daniel Avidia says his agency has recently done a lot to crack down, but acknowledges more can be done, including fingerprinting dealers. This is a systemic failure. Sergeant Jose Escribano with the Travis County Constable's Office is one of the leading experts on tag abuse. He says he's waited four years for this hearing, telling lawmakers more training and resources are needed to fight back. When you guys went ahead and started on this and didn't let up, which was a good thing, we're here now. If it wasn't for that, I'm telling you right now, we wouldn't be here. Texas DMV officials say they reached out to every state for advice. And one of the things they're looking at now is implementing new security features that could include QR codes, various color schemes and stickers, but also on the table, doing away with the paper material altogether. At the state capitol, Matt Grant, State of Texas. An investigation into dozens of reports of educators across Texas unlawfully restraining students. But the majority of those complaints end unsubstantiated. Ahead, what disability advocates and parents have to say about this tough topic as we investigate student restraint.